Today, we're going to talk about prompt engineering in Langsmith. Langsmith includes several useful features for optimizing and iterating on your LLM prompts. The first feature we'll be covering is called the prompt playground. The playground is accessible in the left-hand navigation pane viewable here. However, you can also access the playground through any individual trace containing an LLM call. Let's check out that second option using the application we built in our previous video, the Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot. We've already set up a tracing project for this application, so let's navigate to it. We can click on a trace and then go to the step that contains an LLM call. You can see we have the input and output available to us. If we wanted to bring this into Playground, all we need to do is click the Playground button in the top right. You can see that that brings the exact input and output associated with our trace into the prompt playground. Now that we're here, we can modify the input prompt however we like to see how that impacts the output. For example, let's say we think this answer is too long. We can tell our AI to keep the answer concise. And if we want to see how this modification affects the output, all we need to do is click the Start button in the top right. After changing the prompt, our answer is now significantly shorter. Additionally, you have the option of changing which model you use as well. By clicking into the settings, you can then decide if you want to use a different OpenAI model or if you want to use a different provider's model entirely. Once you're satisfied with your modified prompt, you can then save your prompt using the Prompt Hub. The Prompt Hub is the second feature we'll be covering today. It allows you to save and version your LLM prompts. This is especially valuable if you're using an LLM prompt that changes frequently, or if you're collaborating with a team on your LLM prompts. So before we save this prompt, we probably don't want to save this specific question and context hard-coded into the prompt. Let's make this prompt a little bit more flexible with input variables. By using input variables, we can fill in the right question and the right context during runtime, instead of keeping it hard-coded to the example we pulled from our trace. Now our prompt is ready to save. To do so, all we need to do is click this Save button and give the prompt a name. We can keep it private or make it public. Let's keep it private. Once we've created and saved our prompt, we can then view it in the Prompt Hub. This is accessible through the left-hand navigation pane. We can see that our newly saved prompt is available here in the Prompt Hub. And if we click into it, we can see that we now have a template to use this prompt. Notice how if we want to make further changes to this prompt, we can then edit it in Playground, which will generate more commits. To use this prompt in our application, we're also provided a snippet of code that we can directly pull in to use our prompt. This allows us to avoid hard coding the prompt into our application, and instead allows us to dynamically pull the prompt from Prompt Hub instead. Let's check out what that looks like in our Jupyter Notebook. This notebook contains our application, the Explain Like I'm 5 chatbot. The implementation is basically the same as before, except this time I'm pulling in the prompt using Prompt Hub rather than hard coding it into our application. Let's go through the notebook. First, we import our environment variables. Then we use that code snippet we copy from Langsmith to pull in from Prompt Hub. Then we implement our application. A lot of this section should look familiar. You might notice that it's easy to use OpenAI with our prompt from Prompt Hub. All we need to do is call the invoke method with the input variables we configured earlier. Now let's test our application. We can see that we've generated an output, 
and we know that we're using the new prompt because this output is significantly more concise than our previous outputs. So that's how you save a prompt into Prompt Hub and then pull it in to use it in your code. Next, let's show how to use a specific version of your prompt if you're using Prompt Hub's version control. To do that, we'll need to create one more version of our prompt back in Langsmith. Let's go back to the Prompt Hub using the left-hand sidebar. We'll make a new version of this prompt we saved. And recall that to do so, all we need to do is click this Edit in Playground button to bring our prompt back into the playground where we can make changes. This time, we won't be making the changes manually. Instead, I'll be showing a third and final feature in Langsmith that helps you optimize your prompts. This feature is the Prompt Canvas. The Prompt Canvas can be accessed using this button, and it uses an LLM agent to help auto-optimize your prompt. This can be really helpful if you're not sure how to find the right wording yourself. As a toy example, we'll be asking it to return all of our responses in French. You can see that it's rewritten our prompt so that we get the results in French. And if we want to make sure that the prompt canvas only changes a certain section of our prompt, we can highlight that section and then enter in instructions below. So let's make it return the results in Chinese instead. You can see here that the rest of our prompt stayed the same and that the prompt canvas only touched the section that we highlighted. So now let's use this new prompt in our application. If we click use this version, we can then commit our changes into the prompt hub. And if we go back to our prompt, we can see that we now have two commits in our history. Now let's see how to use a particular commit of our prompt in our application. We're back in our Jupyter Notebook one last time. Let's see how to use a specific commit or version of your prompt in your application. To do so is very simple. When you're pulling from Prompt Hub, all you need to do is specify the particular commit hash you'd like to use. Now that we're pulling this specific prompt, let's run our application and see if it works. You can see that our results are now in Chinese, which indicates that we are now using the final updated version of our prompt. That's Prompt Engineering in Langsmith. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.